Now let's uh, talk a little bit about pharmaceutical companies and of course a race to find this vaccine against COVID-19. Now giants like Pfizer but also Sanofi have vaccine candidates while Roche has developed an antibody test that should go on sale next month. Meanwhile in the UK the health secretary Matt Hancock has also said that Britain will begin human trials of a coronavirus vaccine tomorrow. Now joining us with the latest at Bloomberg Intelligence is our senior pharmaceutical analyst he's Sam Fazelli. Um, Sam great to have you on on the program as we really try and figure out you know the truth between blurry lines what's realistic in terms of when we can expect a vaccine in the near term and what are the main risks to it good morning francine um i mean at the end of the day um it is possible if absolutely everything goes perfectly well with no hiccups whatsoever to get a a candidate vaccine that shows an ability to induce an immune response. That's the first thing that we'll find out, whether it's going to be Oxford or CanSino from um, China or Moderna, Sanofi, Glaxo. Obviously, some of these companies are ahead of others. That would be the first question we'll find out the answer to. Can these things induce an immune response in patients, in individuals, that could then be extrapolated as being um, protective? So. But when we say a vaccine, in a normal world, as Severin Schwann, CEO of Rush just said, in a normal, typical world, because you're giving vaccines to essentially healthy people who have no disease, you have to be absolutely sure that it doesn't cause a side effect. And we had a situation like that with Sanofi just recently with their dengue vaccine, which actually, in patients who were in some patients, made the disease worse. And that didn't show up in the 10, 15 years while they were developing it. So that's the problem with what do we mean when a vaccine is ready? And, and so how long okay. does it, uh, if you look at trials, I mean, how long yeah. are we thinking, Sam, that this would take from, from actual finding the vaccine to making sure it's safe enough to then give to a wider population? To 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 want to to want to get absolute clarity on broad safety, it will take you quite a while. So you, you can try and do a lot of the work in parallel, and that 12 to 18 month time frame that people talk about is is within that time frame. You do a lot of the work uh, in parallel, and then and then hope that the safety signals that are clean, hopefully, that you see in a short term in a small group of people are representative of what will happen when you go and vaccinate millions of people. And you won't know about the, um, the disease worsening risk of a vaccine until, until you've been in a broad number of uh, patients. So that should, uh, the 12 to 18 months is possible, but that really is every single star aligning. Um, Sam, are, is academia working together with Big Pharma? I know there, there's a race and there's a number of speculation and trials out there. Are, are people working together to try and find a common solution, or is it each on their own? No, I'm sure. I mean, we've seen the best example of that is Sanofi and GlaxoSmithKline, who have um, agreed to work together. You know, these are essentially rival companies. They sell flu vaccines against each other, well, into the same market, let's put it that way. So I think you are seeing uh, quite a lot of collaboration going on. You're seeing collaboration between large pharma and small biotechs, and, you know, 70-odd vaccines in development. So there has to be some collaboration going on. And, and at the end of the day, you need someone out there who's got the manufacturing capability and the supply chain capability to be able to deliver this and get it to the, um, to the patients and individuals. So you're going to have to end up working with one of the larger pharmaceutical companies um, which is what's basically yeah. going on with regards to the various uh, collaborations that are happening.